Hello and welcome to the Battle Room. My name is Colin, and today we have another episode of Battle to the Top. I know I'm excited, so I have to assume you're excited to see this Pikachu team in action. So I'm using the team that I featured on my channel on Monday. So if you're interested in the team, we got a team report, we got a team code, and we have a Poke Paste all in the video from Monday if you want to see this team. If not, we'll just get into battling. And let's do this. So this team is really fun. It's built around Pikachu plus Kyogre Synergy and how obnoxious that Pikachu can be, especially paired with Tailwind, because you're allowed to you're able to get speed on your opponents that you wouldn't normally be able to get due to the paralysis. So that's the main idea of this team. So let's get into the battle. I think Pikachu is really fun and actually quite good on this team. So let's do it. Alright, so currently we're sitting at about 189, which is not too bad. Not super amazing, but like we're getting closer to the top 100, which is obviously the goal, ultimately number one. But this is a pretty solid start um, to the season. I'm not too mad about this, but let's see if Pikachu can carry us and get us closer to that top 100. So we found an opponent. We are playing against Manby, ranked 150. So they have a team consisting... Wow, this team is this team is wild. So they have a team consisting of Milotic, Garchomp, Tangela, Heatran, Xerneas, and Aerodactyl. Wow. So I think Pikachu goes in, though. They don't have any resists besides Garchomp, which Garchomp can be dealt with with Kyogre. So I'm going to go with, I think, Tornadus. Hmm. I think Tornadus Kyogre is a pretty good lead against almost everything. Like, I, I would be afraid of potentially, like, a Zern. I, I'm, I think beating Zern isn't, like, a huge deal. It's not as big of a deal as it was. I think I'm going to go Kartana. Okay, so I think I'm going to go Kyogre plus Torn. It puts a lot of pressure on almost everything they can lead. I'm not sure what their answer is fully to Kyogre plus Torn. And then Kartana and Pikachu are good monster rounded out. I think Kartana will obviously be able to outspeed Xerneas and Tailwind and be able to threaten Xerneas. And it's just good against everything. And then Pikachu is really, really good against Milotic. And being getting the paralysis on Xerneas might be really important. So I think having Pikachu along for the ride is as important as well. All right, so opponent's gonna lead up. up oh, 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 our opponent's gonna lead with Milotic and Aerodactyl into Torn Ogre, which feels really good for me. Like I don't know, I could be afraid of coils here. I could be afraid of matching Tailwinds, but I think for the most part, and, and obviously wide guard from Aerodactyl, but I think for the most part, I'm fine here. I'm not. I'm not feeling too threatened. Um, getting up Tailwind is always good. I could also taunt. I, I think taunt is actually a really good play. I don't see an issue with taunt plus spout. I'm not seeing a big issue with this play at all. I could Tailwind switch to Pikachu as well if I wanted to. I think Pikachu coming in could be good. Because I don't think they're... They could Icy Wind. I think I'm just going to go for the safe play of Taunt Spout. I'm not going to see myself punished too hard for this play, I don't think. Maybe Blind Hypnosis. Blind Hypnosis is the scariest thing that could happen to me, to be honest. That's about it. But I think, like, for the most part, I'm fine here. I'm stopping potential Tailwinds. I'm going to potentially hit him with a big fat Water Spout. So I'm feeling good. Yeah, we canceled out that Tailwind. That's really good. And we just get a full powered spout off. This is such a good turn for, for us because we're just doing big damage. Like, my Lotic almost took half from that. That's nuts. It's a water type. And we stopped Tailwind, which is important, especially against the Zern team. We're going to see Ice Beam come through, though, which is kind of annoying. But Tornadus is living. That's my boy. Oh, it's Life Orb, my Lotic. I didn't expect that at all. All right. I mean, just Tailwind, Water Spout. Let's Tailwind Water Spout our way to victory. This looks so good. This looks so good for me right now. I, I'm not seeing how we can lose this game, to be honest. Just because we've already done so much, and like the amount of profit we got from turn one was just astronomical. And we just bring in Pikachu, start paralyzing things, and we're set. We're going to be so set here. So we're going to get this Tailwind off and this Spout. I think my Lotic should die to Life Orb. So we should just get an easy, crisp double hit, double KO here. And then I think we just bring in... Yeah, okay. So my Lotic does live with 1 HP. So if it has Recover, it could potentially get its way back. But I think it's probably just going to go for Muddy Water or Ice Beam. Just kill Tornadus, get it out of here. We're going to see that Scald and Torn Tornadus, which is fine. And then I think we just bring in Pikachu and either fake out or start paralyzing the opponents so that even if Xerneas sets sets up Geomancy, Kartana will always outspeed. And then I think we just always win this game. So I think Pikachu is, is perfect to bring in here. It's going to do big damage as well because there's no Geomancy set up. We have Tailwind. Like, this is so, so, so good. We have complete control of the game speed control-wise, so Kyogre is just sweeping. Who is that Heatran? Oh my god, Heatran and Xerneas. Oh man, I'm just maxing Pikachu. Pikachu's so good here. Pikachu just paralyzes both the Pokemon, and we just water spout to victory. This is, I think it's, it's so over. It's so over. Water spout. 
Oh, man. And then the max Pikachu. We just get a battle canceled. That was a quick one. Let's go, Pikachu. The threat of Pikachu alone there just caused the forfeit. I think it was all Pikachu there. That was just really, really well played from us on turns one and, I mean, two as well. Like, the taunt on Aerodactyl was just game winning, like, turn one. So, we were able to just take it take it from there. So, let's just keep going. Let's get let's carry this momentum into game two. So, we're sitting at 142, which is really, really solid because, you know, like, I think, I think we have time for two more games. And I think that might be enough for top 100 if we decide not to lose, which... I think I'm going to decide right now we're not going to lose. So an opposing trainer has been found. So we've got rank 32. This is this is really good. This should be a good game, hopefully. Okay. Okay. Hmm. This, this is a weird one. So they have a team consisting of Togekiss, Zacian, Lapras, Ferrothorn, Regilenki, and Rhyperior. Ferrothorn's a little scary, especially with the power of Lapras. Lapras, Ferrothorn is no joke. Um... I think leading with Pikachu makes a lot of sense. What's wrong with Pikachu Kyogre? Is there anything too wrong with that lead? It's a little weak to potentially Zacian, but I don't think Zacian will get led. This is such a weird lead, but I think it's the play. And then we just rely, I think I'm gonna rely on Pikachu for the speed control. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. So I'm gonna rely on Pikachu for like by itself. Normally I don't do this. Normally it's always about Tornadus, but I think Pikachu as long as Zacian isn't led, even if Zacian is led, we can just pivot around and play accordingly. But as long as Zacian isn't led, I feel like we can just take over the game with Pikachu speed control. If Zacian's led, we're going to have to do some shuffling around. We might have to max Kyogre to panic our way out of that. But I think for the most part, this is a really, really good lead. So we're going to see Togekiss plus Regieleki. Okay, this feels really good. This feels really good. Um, you have to assume it's with Lightning Rod Rhyperior. But... I think we're fine. Do we just fake out a Lecky? Yeah, this is so safe. I think what we do is we just fake out a Lecky and just go for Water Spout. I don't see how they can punish us for this one because I guess Togekiss could max. That's like the biggest fear. But then even if they're maxing Togekiss, it's not a huge deal. If they switch to Rhyperior at all, like we're just going to punish it with our, um, our Kyogre here. So they are going to max something here. They can't max a Lecky because... If it's a Lecky, then Pikachu obviously will redirect the single target move. So it is going to be Togekiss, which is a little bit scary. A little bit scary. I don't love our plan, honestly. The more the more this game plays out, I'm getting more and more afraid of losing this game. But they are going for the max Togekiss. So I'll have to do a Zacian later. And Regilek is just going to protect. Okay. I think this is okay. We should get this full power water spout off. We should be faster. It shouldn't be the end of the world, but... Togekiss is a little little bit scary depending especially depending on who they hit with this uh this max airstream presumably if they go for max starfall too that could be really scary but it is going to be max airstream right into kyogre i think that's better for us i think that's way better for us because now i'm just going to go for max um pikachu move into togekiss weaken the togekiss probably kill it and then i mean it's probably Zacian and like i get ugh. If, if Rhyperior were to come in here, that could be really bad. Rhyperior coming in could be really bad. Should we try to punish that? Hmm. Because huh. I think they just max Airstream Kyogre 100%. And then switch to Rhyperior seems really brutal for me. But do they bring Rhyperior against Rain? I have to think no. I have to think no. There's no way you bring Rhyperior versus Rain. I think they just switch into Zacian or Ferrothorn, depending on what's in the back. They're actually not switching at all. And they can't go for Volt Switch because we have Lightning Rod. So Aleki will be forced to stay in here. I assume, if this is, is this a web? An Electro Web would not be the greatest play ever from them. I wouldn't like an Electro Web from them. Huh, this is weird. This is a weird, weird circumstance. Kazation we do know is in the back. Because we did see it in the team preview trick. Okay, so we'll get this Protect off. I think this is a, uh, Electro Web seems weird. Electro Web Airstream? All right, it's going to be Electro Web. They're powering up Pikachu. They're just saying, like, they'll just kill Pikachu in a sec with Zacian anyways. So, I respect the play, but I don't know. I don't know if I agree with it. All right, Max Airstream into uh, Pikachu. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, we're going to kill Togekiss, and then we'll kill... We won't paralyze Aleki. Aleki is really fast, but that's that's kind of whatever. That's kind of whatever. Hmm. We'll kill Togekiss. We take out their Max. I think we might have traded too much HP on our own uh, max as well, which could be problematic. Could be a big problem here. Because I think what they're going to do next turn is web and then behemoth blade the Pikachu. 
I think that's safe. They, I, I don't see a reason not to do either of those plays. Okay, Zacian does in fact come in. I think Pikachu will die to Zacian's hit. Kyogre will probably die to Web. Well, maybe. Probably, probably. I think we're forced to double attack here. I think we're forced to. If we live Web, Kyogre should just win the game. And then if... Uh, if Pikachu is able to attack, like, the game's over as well, we'll paralyze Zacian, and then I think we can just clean up with Aleki and Carton on the back. Kyogre lives the web. Let's go, Kyogre. Let's go, Kyogre. I was getting really afraid that we, like, threw this game and, like, needed Tornadas, but we'll see. They're gonna set up Substitute. Oh my gosh. This couldn't have gone better. I can't believe Kyogre lived with 2 HP. Kyogre clutched this one. Now we're gonna get this Volt Crash off into the sub, which is fine. It's just more up to Kyogre hitting one of these Pokemon. Ideally both, um, but but hitting one would just win the game. And we do get the paralysis off, even though they press Substitute. I think Substitute is kind of a throw, but Kyogre living was always going to help us net win this game anyways. So Kyogre clutched it. That's a double KO, right? Mm, easy money. Easy money. Pikachu knows no fear. I do think they should have targeted Pikachu and killed it, but I think Kyogre still won this game for us just because it was going to break, uh, it was going to kill Kyogre. It was going to do too much damage to Zacian and kill Aleki. So as long as we were always hitting that, we were fine. Oh, they actually brought Rhyperior. Oh my gosh, this is a clean 4-0. Uh, I think Ice Beam's best. I, it doesn't matter, I think Pikachu will kill this. This was a clean 4-0 with Pikachu. Two epic Pikachu sweeps. Can we get a third one? Can we get a third one? I'm so glad we got to show off Pikachu as well. Like, Pikachu really performed in that game. I do think there was a little bit of blunders to let Pikachu shine as well as it did, but we take those straight to the bank. And, oh man. I don't know, if we actually get all three Pikachu games, I would I would be shocked if I'm able to bring Pikachu in all three. Oh my gosh, that's top 100. We're back in the top 100s. All right, we just gotta maintain this. We gotta get this win. This next one means everything, because that means we get to end the video in top 100, which feels amazing. All right, we got a battle versus Daniel at 471. Not bad, not bad. Oh, jeez. Daniel's team is wild. So I think we're going to see Slowking plus um, Indeedee. That would make the most sense to me. I think Pikachu's pretty good here. <laughs> Pikachu's looking good. It's just a matter of dealing with um, this Necrozma Trick Room mode because I think that's what they're going to do. Um, Intimidate's great. So we actually have to play this game in a kind of a weird, different way. I think we're going to go with Rishifu Kyogre. That seems pretty good to me. Bring in Cineroar. And then I think bring Pikachu. This is kind of weird, but I think I think this is this will work. I think this will work. All right, so we're gonna see Hydreigon Slowking. I never really expected this lead at all. I, <laughs> to be honest with you, like when I was thinking, I thought Indeedee Dustmane, Indeedee uh, Slowking, Aleki Slowking. I never expected Hydreigon Slowking. It's kind of a weird lead, but I think I think I'll take it. I think it favors me. So, I'm really tempted to just, like, close combat, like, damage Hydreigon, because I think Hydreigon's a big threat. But I also don't want Trick Room to go up, so I'm going to go for this play. I'm going to go for uh, Wicked Blow, Origin Pulse. I don't think Slow King can handle this, unless it's Culber. But even then, I think it could be kind of close, just with the pure damage that Urshifu can throw out. I've never led this before while leading, while playing with this team, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty solid. Hydreigon, one thing about Hydreigon that's always really good is that it does outspeed Urshifu. And that's really relevant. I think maybe they were just trying to outspeed her Shifu and led with their Hydreigon. But I'm Sash, so even if Hydreigon hits this Draco or does anything, it's still gonna. I'm still going to live. So they're going to switch into their uh, Feeny, which is fine. And I, I assume a Max is going to come through from Hydreigon. I, I have to imagine a Max comes through, right? There's no way it doesn't Max. I still think we're going to do good damage to... Oh, jeez! Oh! Okay! So that's Snarl from Hydreigon. I didn't expect that at all. That's a good turn from them. So I think we got to imagine that it's Slowking and then Necrozma in the back, because we already saw Slowking. Necrozma is most likely the one they brought. Hmm. Okay, okay. So dealing with Fini is going to be really important. And it is a supportive set from this um, Hydreigon, which is really weird. We still did half to Fini, even though it was double resisted hit. Um... Okay, so Pikachu is Pikachu's clutch here. Pikachu is gonna be really important. I think I'm just gonna go for protect. I don't need to get too crazy there. And then, hmm, huh? Protect switch to Ensign. 
Instant's really important as well now. I think we're just gonna get Snarled. I could, well, I don't think we're gonna get Snarled. I think it's gonna switch Hydragon out, like conserve the Hydragon. And then what, just Muddy Water? Probably Moonblast that slot. I probably could bring in Pikachu for free. Huh, I, okay. I think I'm just, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go for Protect and I'm gonna switch into Pikachu. I'm gonna switch into Pikachu, cause I think, hmm, I, I really don't know what they're gonna do, but I imagine Hydreigon has to switch, oh, I timed out, okay. So I'm just gonna go for, I think, Water Spout here. They're just gonna go for Snarl again. I could've just closed combat, killed that Hydreigon, which would've felt really, really good. But I think it's okay, cause like, we're still gonna get a Water Spout off and we're just slowly chipping them down. I totally meant to switch into Pikachu. I'm kinda glad that I timed out though. I, I really, I'm, I'm glad that I got this Water Spout off. This is a good turn for me, honestly. All things considered, I'm happy with this turn. We crit high dragon, we take those. And then they're just gonna moonblast into the Yashifu Protect. That's fine. Huh. Well, that turn went uh, better than I, I expected it to. I was gonna make a little bit of a, a little bit of a blunder there, but this works well into my favor. Um I think switching out High Dragon into Incin just feels good, and then Oh well, yeah, yeah, switching the High Dragon to Incin feels good. And then I think Hmm. Because we're setting up to paralyze their entire team, which isn't as important because we're probably faster than all of them. But the damage could be nice. Um, we go to Ensign and then we just Water Spot again. I don't want to proc this Berry. It's definitely Berry. I'm just going to kill High Dragon. Switching. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. Because then we fake out, switch to Pikachu, threaten the KO onto uh, Slow King if need be. I think this is okay. We're just getting snarled to death, but I think Kyogre might even might even be a really good max as well. If we don't let up Trick Room, I think we just chill and we just probably win this game pretty hard. All right, this is fine. Kyogre's still taking like half its health though, which is kind of annoying. It's just spamming Snarl. It's really weird. I'm okay with it, but like I didn't expect Hydreigon to just be the Snarl bot that it's <laughs> been this game. Ice Beam. It hangs on with one HP. That's I think favorable for me. And they just go for Moonblast and Ensign. Yeah, that's good. Um, we might force a water... Oh, whoa. I did not expect a life orb. At all. I did not expect a life orb at all. Interesting. In interesting development here. Um, I'm gonna fake out Fini then and switch into her Shifu. I think this is a way better play. This is way better. Because Hydreigon actually can't do much to me while Misty Terrain is up. All right, so Kyogre is gonna come back. This is this is looking pretty solid though, I, especially because we've done so much of these two Pokemon. Neither of us have maxed, but they're not in the position to max at all here. All right, Fini goes for protect. I'll be able to kill Fini next turn with Wicked Blow. Let's see. So they're just gonna go for Earth Power into Instant. I think that's okay. Yeah, Instant takes that. Instant takes that really well. Um. All right. Glad I didn't switch into Pikachu or anything. Uh, I think I'll just Snarl and Wicked Blow the Fini. That just seems safe. Because I don't think they can kill, again, they can't kill her Shifu because of the Misty Terrain. Like, they have to Earth Power, or, like, Flash Cannon me, which isn't as big of a deal, you know? So, then we can bring in Pikachu. I'm, I'm not hating our positioning here at all. Dealing with the big lion in the back is going to be a little bit scary. It's going to be a little bit scary. I, I will admit that. But, I do think we can win. I'm actually I'm surprised Inzen died there. But I still think we can beat the big lion just with these Pokemon here. Especially because the lion, like having, they have to probably send in Sloking here. I don't know if they can send in, oh, they probably send in the lion, actually. They probably send in the lion. Hmm. I wonder, so this is, this is kind of a weird turn. Because if they send in the lion, I would rather send in Kyogre. If they send in um, Sloking, I would rather send in Pikachu. I think I'm going to go into Pikachu. I think I'm going to go into Pikachu because I can go for like, I can just start, yeah, the Necrozma comes in. And then I can fake out Wicked Blow, and then I'll feel completely fine. If they don't set up TR here, they're going to lose. And if they do max or something, I'll be totally fine. Because I can just max Kyogre. So I think what I'll do here is fake out then the Hydreigon. And then Wicked Blow the Lion. So then if they set up Trick Room, they're going to take way too much damage from Wicked Blow. That I'll probably win the game. And if they set up... Um, if they go for like Max Steel Spike or Max Quake onto Pikachu, then I'll... That's fine. They, they'll still... I'll be able to just max Kyogre next turn and probably hit them with a big max Geyser plus Wicked Blow and win the game that way. 
Hopefully. That's that's the that's the intention here. They do switch into Slow King, which could give me issues in the future. I think this could be bad if they do Max or Lion. Then I kind of wish I just went for like Max Quake, but I think it's still okay. It kind of depends on what move they make here. It really depends on the move they're making here. And if they're counting on weakness policy, whether they're killing Pikachu, I... This is this game is looking kind of bad now, honestly. I think I've kind of blundered. Losing Incin was really bad. I think losing the Incineroar was where I started to, like, uh, mess up a little bit here. So we're going to fake out into Slow King for, like, negligible damage. Um, and we will get this Wicked Blow-Off, which is doing... Naughty... Oh my gosh. The Lion is too tanky. The Lion ate that up. Oh my god. The lion. All right, he's gonna max steel spike. I think that's good for me. I think that's better. Into a shifu. Shifu goes down. Obviously, we proc the, proc the policy there. Hmm. This next turn is like a little weird. We might have to get bailed out by Pikachu's paralysis of spreading abilities. So we're gonna go into Kyogre. Um, I think we have to max Electric Sloking so that it can't set up Trick Room. And then I think we just go for Origin Pulse. I think that's all we can really hope to do. Because um, we need to kill Sloking. And if they kill Pikachu, like, I think we lose. So I think it's just imperative that we get the Paralysis right here, right now. I think all we need is one, but asking for one can be <laughs> can be a lot here. But if we get the one on the Lion, I think the Lion can't win the game then. I'm pretty sure it can't win. Just because I Dragon probably can't Oko Pikachu. So we'll see. They're staying in with Sloking, which I think is beneficial for me. In the long run here. Let's see. Alright, big big Pikachu. We all know the Pikachu's here to play. It's ginormous. It's gonna ruin lives. Giant Pikachu time. I think we need a little bit of Pikachu luck to win this one though. I really do. I think it should be able to one-shot the Slow King though, which is really good for me. Oh, they're going for Max Guard! Oh, that's really good. That's really good for me. Volt Crash comes through onto Slow King. That's just gonna be a dead Slow King, right? Yeah, dead Slow King. I don't know how I feel about that max guard. I think it just favors me. Because now we have the paralysis on the Krosma. We have hacks chances. Oh, man. That was a good turn. That was a good turn for us. This next turn's a little weird, though. Because, like, do they go for Snarl? Or do they go for... <sighs> do they go for Snarl? Or are they going to go for, like, Earth Power into Pikachu? That's the question I'm asking myself. Or do they like Draco Kyogre? I think I think my best play is to max guard and go for Origin Pulse. Because I think it's more likely that the Earth Power Pikachu, and I think it's likely that Kyogre can live. And then if Kyogre can get this kill, if Kyogre kills a dragon and the max quake goes into Pikachu, we'll just win the game. Because then we'll just be able to spam Origin Pulse and max Thunder. As long as they don't max quake Kyogre, I think it's good. But we do have the Paralysis chance as well. There's always hope with that. But I think this play is just good. Um, even if... As long as I hit my moves. I, I'm jinxing myself. I probably am going to miss both my moves. But as long as we hit my moves. Um, they could also go for Snarl. They're going to go for Snarl. That's okay. If they max Quaked Kyogre, this could be bad. If they go for max Quake into Pikachu, that could be that could be pretty good. That could be pretty good. We double connect on Origin Pulse. I'm lucky. Okay. Also, if they, I guess if they go for a non-Steel Spike move onto Kyogre, it's, it's good as well. They're going to go for max Quake into Pikachu. Pikachu's clutching it. We win. We win. There's no way we can lose because I think Max, the Max Volt Crash is doing way too much damage. I think we just won. Oh my god. I think the Max Guard play is what really put us in this. I think this just kills, honestly. Um, I'll go for the 100% accurate Max or Water Spouts. It's, I think it's just better. I think it's just better. All right, they're going to go for Protect. They're going to stall out that last turn of Giant Pikachu time, but I think it doesn't matter because we're just going to bring down this big Volt Crash. We're going to see big damage here. It was, it was okay. <laughs> I expected a lot more from Pikachu there, but I think it's fine. I hope Rain doesn't end. Because if Rain and if Rain is up, Thunder will just kill. And Pikachu will claim the third victim in a row. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we got all Pikachu sweeps on, on, on the video. Like, I was I was hoping... like Because I, I recorded this video once already, and it ended up being... like It had really bad audio, so I had to redo it. And I brought Pikachu one time in the other game I won without Pikachu. But this was all Pikachu, perfect Pikachu games. And I can't be happier with that. That was such a good run for Pikachu. That was such a good run for Pikachu. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the Pikachu content. Like, I, I'm kind of amazed that Pikachu popped off in all of the games there. 
But I'm I'm thankful it did. I got to really show it off and why I think Pikachu is actually pretty solid on Rayogu. So let's see where we ended. Thank you guys so much for watching, by the way. I really appreciate it. Please leave a like or comment, subscribe, anything. Really, it helps me out a ton. We're going to end rank 75. I'm really happy with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on Friday for another video. And I'll see you next Wednesday for another Battle to the Top. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.